another travel vlog this is actually going to be the i think the second to last vlog of this trip which is so sad but yesterday i arrived in a new country so i'm now in belize and i'll be finishing in mexico in actually next week which is so sad but we're not going to talk about that now we're just going to enjoy this island i'm in the island of Cay Corca, which is really popular with like backpackers and travelers i arrived yesterday and my friend indy arrived today who you've seen in like the past i don't even know five or six vlogs it's been like three weeks now that she's been <laughs> following me everywhere i'm joking but we also made another new friend do you like to be in it there's Hi. indy what do you think of Belize. I mean, You've been here like just, two hours. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It it's is really very beautiful. Very island. Yeah. Very island time, island vibe. Cute. And this is Emma, Hi. the Canadian version. <laughs> this is the cafe that we're in. It's called Ice and Beans. If you come to Kay Corker, literally look where you get to sit. And the coffee is so nice as well. So I think now we're going to go try sort out our snorkeling tour because we want to do that tomorrow and we've not booked it yet. And then there's a couple of other things that I found for us to do, which is like this place called Stingray Beach where you get to see stingrays and then there's this other thing where you get to feed like these jumping fish, you guys will see. So we're going to go do that and then maybe go for drinks and food later. And yeah, that's the plan. This is my island outfit. I can't see because it's so bright, but we made it to Stingray Beach. We actually got a lift from this random man in a golf buggy who just drove us here which was so was sweet lasting r and classics it was a vibe we bought some seltzers so yeah so there's a sign that says the stingrays come at like 4 yeah, yeah. pm so we're just gonna wait for them like to arrive this is where we are So we have just finished at the Stingray Beach. It was honestly so amazing. I feel like I never imagined that I would get that experience. Like I've only ever touched a stingray at Blue Planet Aquarium. You've been to Blue Planet, Indy? Um, no, I don't think never. so. Anyway, just literally in an aquarium, but they were just wild, so it was so much fun. It was literally amazing, and it was completely free, so it's a really good activity. I really recommend it to you guys. Now we've just come to this rooftop bar for happy hour. Does anyone know the name of this place? La Isla. La Isla, I think it's a hotel, but I'll show you the rooftop. It's really nice, and we got a really good deal. So we got rum and pineapple for two for ten belize dollars which is five us dollars which is like three pound maybe something like that for two and they're honestly so nice so i was saying to the girls when we were at the stingray beach i was like i'm so content right now maybe it's because i'm know that i'm going home soon and i'm like appreciating every little thing but i just feel so happy in belize right now it is so beautiful and she's so yeah. live laugh love i'm just <laughs> live laugh love yes <laughs> So we just got back to the hostel after we went for dinner and literally as soon as me and Indy walked into the room there was this massive cockroach like ran across the floor under my bed so I started panicking because I'm not okay I am a little bit afraid of insects but it just creeped me out more than anything like the thought of it being in my bed makes me panic so me and Indy went on this mission to like hunt it out from under the bed and basically it started crawling up the bed frame as if it was going to go into my bed. So then we called Emma from her room to come in and start like spraying down this cockroach but it was like invincible, like the bug spray was not doing anything to it. But in the end we narrowed it down into this corner under Indy's bed and then we had to call in this random guy from outside in the hostel we were like, please can you come into our room and help us kill this cockroach because 
we need you and otherwise I'm not going to sleep so luckily he agreed and he came in and sorted it that worked me up so much like I'm just so happy that we caught it <laughs> It's actually the first cockroach that I've seen in a room in quite a while, so it's not too bad. We are going on a snorkeling trip and it's actually just me and Indy on the whole boat, which is so lucky. This is the boat. Here is our captain. <laughs> and we have like four or five snorkeling stops, I think. So let's go. You're going to hold the sardine by the tail between your index and your big tongue. Somewhat like this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Get your fingers up. You don't want to get them down. These fishes, they love fingers, <laughs> all right? So get your fingers up. And then what you want to do is go as far as you can. Stretch your arms. Go as far as you can over the boat, all right? Say my hand is the water. Don't get it inside the water. You want the fishes to work for it. Don't get it too high. They're not Olympians, all right? Just about a foot or two over the water surface. You wiggle a little, you keep it there, and you wait for the excitement. Who's gonna go first? In there? They have <laughs> razor sharp teeth. Like this high yes, or high? You gotta go all the way out here. Uh, you gotta lean out. Way lower. Remember a foot or two over the water. Oh, 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 Nice. We made it to the first stop. This is Hol Chan Marine Reserve. What things are we going to see here? Oh, we're going to see everything there is to see. Everything. Fishes, <laughs> sharks, rays, sharks, okay. manatees, <laughs> dolphins, mermaids. So this is some of our GoPro footage from our snorkeling. I cannot put into words how amazing the snorkeling in K Corker is. It has to go on your bucket list and it actually makes it into my top three experiences of this whole backpacking South and Central America trip. I've already done quite a bit of snorkeling around the world, but this just tops any other place that I've done it. Belize is famous for its marine wildlife and it also has the second biggest coral reef in the world after Australia. So we did get to see the coral reef as well, which was so good. It's not a cheap activity for backpackers. The going rate for a full day is around 100 US dollars or 50 dollars for half a day, but it is so, so worth it. And I really recommend the tour company that we went with as well, who I'll write on screen. It was so special that they let us go out with just the two of us on the tour because obviously it was like a private tour for the same price. So that was amazing. It's lunchtime, we've got some chicken, rice, salad, coke in a glass bottle, Fanta in a glass bottle, and we just swam with sharks and it was unreal. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> So we've just got back from the snorkeling tour, as you guys will have seen. We got off the boat to see manatees, which was amazing that we finally got to see some. But then our boat broke down. How long do you think we were broken down for? I think at least half an hour. About half an hour, we were just drifting in the middle of the sea. John was getting quite frustrated trying to restart the engine. He had to jump out the water, try and jumped move. out a few times to push us away from like coral that we were getting close to. But yeah, in the end we made it back to shore alive, so thanks John. We just came for a coffee at our favourite cafe, Ice and Beans. I got a white chocolate ice latte with almond milk. And now we're gonna walk back to the hostel, like freshen up because my hair feels disgusting. And then later we'll go for some food and some drinks. And yeah, that's the plan for our last night in, well, my last night in Belize. Indy's got one more night, but oh, by herself, not with me. Last night together. But the snorkeling was amazing. We have just got ready and come for some drinks. Sorry about the background music, it's a bit random and annoying, but. We've come to the same happy hour that we went to yesterday, because also, cheap. I'm quite sunburned, but I just keep saying it's not as bad as Panama, so yeah, I think it's going to be fine this time. India, as usual, is nice and brown. We got the same drinks as yesterday, like coconut rum and pineapple, and you want to be in the vlog? Yeah. yeah. This is our friend Tom that we met in Guatemala. Up a volcano. 
Yeah, we met him on the volcano actually. And he's on the gin and mango. He's on mango gin and mango juice. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, Tom's ordered fajitas and it looks so good. I'm gonna need tortillas in here. So I ordered the coconut curry with chicken and coconut rice and garlic potatoes. So nice. It is the next morning now. It's like almost 7 a.m. and I'm just walking to get my ferry to leave the island. Indy actually woke up and she's walking with me to the ferry and she's carrying my little backpack. So sweet. We just came to ice and beans. I didn't get coffee actually, I just got a water and then I ordered some donuts as well. But the donuts are so good. And my ferry's in like half an hour, so yeah. Here's my donuts. Honestly, nicest donuts I've ever had. And we're walking to the ferry. Sad times. <laughs> It's 12.30 p.m. I've just made it across the Mexican border. I'm now in Mexico, which is the final stop of this trip. That was actually a very easy border crossing between Belize and Mexico. Don't know if it was just a lucky day, but it was really quiet. It was pretty fast. There was only like six or seven of us in my group, like in my shuttle. And now I'm just in a taxi waiting to get taken to my hostel. And that's a wrap. I'm now home from traveling and this is going to be the end of the backpacking South and Central America vlogs for now because I do fully intend to go back and explore all the countries that I didn't get to see on this trip. So the last clip you guys saw was when I just arrived in Mexico. To be honest I always knew that I probably wasn't going to explore Mexico on this trip because Mexico is huge and all the different regions are so diverse and so different so you need at least one or two months to properly see Mexico so I didn't really plan to do that on this trip I'm going to do it as a separate trip where I get to see all the different sides of Mexico that I've not seen I have been to Mexico once before back in 2016 I went for two weeks with my mum to Cancun and Cancun is a very different vibe to the rest of Mexico from what I've heard obviously it's a big holiday destination so you've got like that kind of tourist side to it so when I crossed from Belize into Mexico I went to a small town called Bacala which is quite near the border it's a really small town there's not an awful lot there but it is growing in popularity with travelers obviously it's not as popular as the big places like Cancun and Tulum and I was originally planning on doing a Mexico vlog of just my three nights there my end of trip in Mexico but to be honest not that much happened so I didn't really get any footage or get enough for a separate video obviously I had a sunburn so I was trying to stay out of the sun not really go to the beach or anything and because it was right at the end of my trip and I was just waiting for my flight home there was a really weird feel to the whole thing I was very sad and it just wasn't really worth filming I think if I'd flown home from Belize being on such a high that would have been a different ending but because I booked my flight home from Cancun because that's the cheapest flight I found I had this weird few days between being on such a high in Belize and having to fly home and it's like a weird kind of almost like you're in limbo ending traveling but waiting to go home it's hard to describe but yeah that was my vibe while in Mexico this time the only thing that I did was I got a new tattoo I was gonna film it but it's a very small one again I filmed the one I got in Thailand and like that one it only took 10-15 minutes so it wasn't really anything that exciting to film but this is my new tattoo have already posted it on my Instagram and stuff but it's just a little aeroplane on my right wrist my other tattoo is on my left arm so I thought I'd get them on separate arms but yeah I love it and every day I look at it it reminds me of this amazing trip obviously my other tattoo I got on my first round of backpacking in Southeast Asia and now my second one I got on the last day of my second leg of backpacking so it feels very special to me and yeah that's the end of the solo backpacking vlogs for now but I just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys for watching and for supporting the videos for me it was quite scary and stressful when I first went backpacking to Southeast Asia and I kind of transitioned into making travel vlogs which is something that I'd not really done before and my channel became like full-time travel vlogs whereas previously I'd been doing a whole mix of other videos so it was like a new step for me and it was quite stressful and 
quite hard like branching out into a new niche of videos but I want to thank you guys for still supporting me anyway and to all the new people who I've gained from doing those videos so I have done a vlog which is like my first week back in the UK settling back into life what I've been up to and stuff so that'll be coming after this one if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up leave me a little comment below if you're not subscribed I am uploading every week now I'm on a roll so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in a video soon bye